happy Monday, everyone, or whatever day you are watching this. Have you noticed a lot of Warlocks in the meta right now? Because I sure have. Sludge Warlock is finally moving up on the food chain. They're now number two on the win rates list. Paladin being first, and then, you know, Druid, which was dominant at number one and number two for months now, is now down to number three. Um, it's the same old with the rest of the classes. Nothing um, strong or oh my goodness. Um, but if you're playing bronze through gold, you should be fine because there's multiple decks for you to choose from that are all above 50% win rates. But we're going to go over ones that are less than 5,000 dust. And I found some good ones. I found some new ones, meaning new that we haven't seen on these videos before. And then, of course, the last two, three weeks, we have a couple of Druid, Druid decks that are pretty good, above 50% win rate. They're still dominating. They're still high win rates, um, and they're still less than 5,000 dust. And then Mage also has um, Secret and Elemental, and those are above 50% win rate still. I just didn't want to duplicate. So look at the old videos if you're looking for those decks, but we have five to talk about today. Um, before that, look at this. Uh, Death Knight has several options. Demon Hunter, not so many, but Aggro Demon Hunters. Still pretty much the only solution if you're looking to play Demon Hunter. Uh, Druid is, yeah, you've got every Druid deck that you can think of, every combination. There's a couple of new ones there. Um, not looking at them yet, only because I didn't see any below 5,000 dust. You've got a bunch of Hunter decks we've talked about. I actually have a couple of Hunter today. Like I said, uh, Rainbow's still strong, Mining strong, Secret and Elemental on the Mage side. They're just a little bit more expensive than we're used to talking to. Paladin is just, there, there's going to have to be something done um, with some of these Paladin cards. Uh, there's quite a few of them that probably need to be nerfed. Um, we have Priest, Automaton and Undead are very strong. Highlander's still around. And then for Rogue, you've got Mining Mech. Um, that You've got options across the board. But I, I want to talk about um, a couple of the Paladin decks. I want to talk about that Sludge Warlock that everybody seems to be playing because the win rates are very high. So let's get into it. Mining Paladins is the first one I want to talk about. It's at 3,900 dust, and it's at a 76.5% win rate. Now, these are just the last seven days that I've seen this data, so your mileage may vary, but it's very strong. So this is not the expensive Mining Paladin, so this has a couple of choices that uh, you know might not need to be made if you're looking to not worry about a budget deck, but this is a great deck and you could start adding these cards, uh, the, the stronger and the more expensive cards as you go through. But this is essentially you are working on building a board and then look, Shroomscavate's in there. We've talked about this before. Um, this is brushed upon last week. Shroomscavate is huge and I, I feel that it might need to be nerfed a little bit because it gives you Excavate. You want that Excavate treasure for Paladins because it's huge. Um, and then putting your uh, minion on the board with a plus three plus three you've got countess in there and then this is another one gardens grace this this card probably needs to be nerfed completely um i don't know what it would do um i don't know what type of nerf it would be but it's just it's just very easy to pop this off turn five turn six and then you just have a big minion on board um crusader orders pretty interesting here because i like the ability to have whenever your friendly minion attacks give it a plus two plus one last three turns that should be something you're playing often and then of course the rest of these are just a few minions that you can put on the board this one right here muster for battle um it's a great idea uh summon three one one silver hand recruits and equip a one four weapon don't worry about the weapon you want to mess around with this um you could actually put in more types of excavate um uh, tech if you wanted to in this deck but this deck is is very versatile this will get you where you need to go next up and this is one that i've not really played a lot of i played a couple of times it's uh sludge warlock and it's pretty popular right now it's at 4240 dust and the win rate is 70 percent right now and sludge warlock is pretty simple you want to go ahead and get as many barrels of sludge as possible in the bottom of your deck using sludge on wheels there's two of those there you want to go ahead and also mess around there's another one here this gloomsdale guardian is just a crazy card um 
I can't believe how popular, uh, how strong this is. A 6-8 elemental with taunt, and if you just forge it, it it's big. But yeah, you want to get those sludges out into the bottom of your deck as many as possible and then you have waste remover um at the end of your turn destroy the bottom three cards of your deck you will run out of cards super fast on this so the fatigue damage um utilization on this so for the um let's see where is the other one forge wills is very good because you can mess around with waste remover and then just make another minion on board uh tram mechanic is good baritone imp so you get your fatigue up pretty high and look if it take fatigue damage gain that much attack and health so this will be a huge minion on board uh, miracle salesman i thought it was useless i was completely wrong this is a good card um, it's just something to keep on the board really cheap and then go ahead and have that tradable um, option in your deck as well like i said this one is at 42 40 dust at 70 percent win rate it's a good good deck um agro paladin is next and this one is only 2600 dust and last i looked um this was at an 80.8 percent win rate um it's a lot of the paladin decks are very versatile so you start with what you have here and then as you grow and as you get more cards and as you get more um more rewards you can build a stronger deck with this but this is just shroomscavates in this there's not a lot of um there's not a lot of excavate items in there except for a shroomscavate there but it's just buffing your minions and keeping your minions super strong your leftmost minion has plus three attack and lifesteal last three turns this thing um, is a very strong card as well and look there's garden's grace again so these are strong decks they're very easy to play the minions on board are super super simple to get on board because they're only one mana technically um boogie down is one i like to always mulligan because you have foul egg you have righteous protector you have sanguine soldier you have all of those that you can go ahead and throw out with taunts and then use your spells so for quelthalos you can give it plus three attack and then yourself three attack great hall as well set a minion's attack and health to three depending on what you have on board or if there's a huge minion that you want to kill um on the opponent's side use this as well and then like i said it's just buffing it's just buffing seal of blood give a minion plus three plus three and divine shield um it's a very good deck this card right here i haven't seen this played in a while cool ghoul it's a three one undead divine children reborn it's a very cool card jitterbug as well um you'll have a few options there for divine shield and then it just helps you draw a card when you need it and then keep your strength i've fallen into this trap several times now because i get too complacent and i'm not paying attention give a mid friendly minion plus two plus two deal is attack damage to all other minions um do you know how many times i've wiped out my board before hitting the opponent with this card so just be mindful of this 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 card i'm probably the only one that's doing this but it's still kind of funny so keep it up there make sure you're attacking with your other ones because this is probably potentially going to wipe everything that's on your board as well and you will have boards with this deck uh next up undead priest i i this is off and on a very popular deck um it's a very cheap deck it's at 2880 dust right now the win rate's at 67.4 percent um you know recently the inclusion of etc in this deck has made it i would think more powerful um you've got shard and naru in that etc which silences all minions uh which is perfect silver moon arcanist for a plus two spell damage and then the sun whale as well this is a great card you can throw so much tech in here depending on what you're facing if you need to remove weapons throw rust rod viper in there instead of one of these other ones so just etc i've noticed that when i'm looking at the deck um the card played rates the etc has just been growing and growing throughout the past couple of months um and it's understandably so so this one i've mentioned it many times it's just the dark bishop benedictus to where your spells in your deck are all shadow enter shadow form which means that you're doing damage with your hero power instead of healing and then it's got a bunch of undead and undead type spells that are doing things that'll kick your opponent's butt as quickly as it possibly can it's a good deck i would definitely try that if you're what you're interested in there are a couple other more fun in my opinion um priest options but they're just more expensive so we're going to talk next and the last two decks that we're going to talk about is a very low cost hunter deck and a little one above 
above 5,000 dust, but not by much. Big Beast Hunter. Um, it's at zero dust. So all of these cards you should have already. It's very easy to tech these cards out with other cards that you may have if you want to make this deck more stronger. But it's a lot of spells. A lot of of options here to make your opponent not sure of what you're doing a lot of secrets as well look at this uh wandering monster secret uh quick shot freezing trap explosive trap you got doggy biscuit which is amazing um dragon bane is also something that you don't see play too often but it's it's absolutely in here savannah high main dr boom king crush you can throw so much in and out of this deck and make it very strong. The win rate might not be as much, but the, also the popularity, look at that, it's growing up. It's going up a little bit uh, because it's low cost. So if you're looking for an option there, I would definitely consider putting this package together and then teching out as you see fit. Um, the last one we're going to go over is Arcane Hunter. Um, Arcane Hunter's at 5,040 dust. The win rate is 70.3%. And the reason I'm mentioning this is because it's only one one common card away from um you know 5000 dust you can tech out some th items you don't need all of these 100 cards but you want to work on you know building a board you've got awakening tremors the bunch of bananas will help miracle salesman we talked about that one already uh ricochet shot it's based on arcane spells absolutely look trick it tracker will draw one cost spell for you to have and then Haldoran brightwing you definitely need this card so if you do not have this card don't even worry about it agarmar's very um i mean i would i would absolutely consider um making sure that you have this card if you're playing a lot of arcane or you're playing hunter excuse me not just arcane if you're playing hunter you should be having this it's a very good card to be playing um again this the tech choices here are good as well you can take out one of these trinket trackers and put in something that you already have and you'll be okay awakening tremors you should i mean most likely if you've opened any packs you have some of these cards um but yeah conjured arrow conjured arrow is very good you don't necessarily need both of them so you can play around with this deck as easily as possible and like i said the win rate's at 70.3 percent there's something going on with these um not as strong as it used to be the win rates are going down um i think that's just really because um that there's just more people playing other options and this is yeah no no available um information there because this deck is very new um let's see 6.3 seconds is the match duration overall win rate there you go that's where we want to go um it's 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 not as strong against paladin and it's not as strong against warrior but the rest of it you're pretty good with so you should you should be good to try this out and like i said it's it's super cheap it's right next to the 5000 dust requirements that i try to put in this uh video um and then looking at the last seven days of the cards that are you know based on popularity it's the same as it was before there's nothing crazy nothing nothing different ask the lore it, it's going to be very weird to see decks without Astalor in it very soon um because it's it's getting ready to be um be taken out of uh the standard and then burrow buster strong ignis kobold minder it's all the same stuff look etc has went up absolutely etc used to not ever be in the top 10 and now it's number six uh, so that's it for this video. If you like what I'm doing, um, please leave a comment, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Um, all the deck codes are in the description and look at the previous past couple of weeks videos because a lot of those decks are also still as viable and I will see you in the next video.